what amazing finish. And, and you know, great for the Austrians to win. Boatload of young young guys and good guys. Um, yeah, no, we are super happy with how we raced, to be honest. And uh, it feels a bit strange having a fifth, but, but you know, like, the bigger picture looks, looks, looks good. I was just, like, you know, crossing this ridge, coming into the finish, and, you know, very complicated finish with the traffic separation scheme and uh, and how we needed to deal with that. And I, I was really happy with how we dealt with the whole day and, uh, you know, a little bit a little bit out of, out of favour in the end. Oh, no, the, you know, we were, we were able to perform well in the light air or the heavy air and, uh, and you know, and with three days training and, you know, it, feel, it, all, it all feels good. I was really happy. I said to the guys, really happy with how we raced. Like, raced really well. Sometimes, occasionally, you've got to put the, the, the bad result aside and, 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 and get on with it because, you know, you know it could, have, could have or should have been something else. Wow, you know, and, and I don't think, you know, five minutes out, anyone really, really knew who was, who was going to get there. What amazing. Like, uh, you, know, you know, obviously the weather system had a lot to do with it. Uh, the mockers normally would be a lot faster, but, um, but you know, the 65, tried and true is always always close racing that's kind of what it delivers uh, well I feel very happy very exhausted at, at the same time because you know the conditions were actually quite intense and so we had to work you know all the way through even in the last minute before the uh, finish line we had to adjust and you see we had 25 knots winds right right before finishing so it's been a, you know testing the uh, the cruise nerves you know uh, testing the crew's uh, you know mental uh, agility and clearly the physical uh, you know condition of the crew are exceptional so we couldn't have maintained such a you know rhythm at, you know such a pace without you know the eight youngsters uh, making the crew of this boat they are very simple you know it's a very simple straightforward bunch of folks here and so uh, highly compatible with each other they all love this you know these sports you know they uh, they spend their time on the ocean they they spend their time for racing you see so uh, they are very happy to be here they're in great condition, great physical condition, and you need to be because you've, yeah. you've seen the last five days has been pretty sporty. And so those guys don't sleep, they don't eat, they just race. Yeah. So that makes the difference here. So no, no, Chris has made a, a really good uh, selection of, uh, you know, a, a, to his image really. Yeah. So it's, uh, yeah, you know, only one strategy, just win. Well, I, I may come, you know, you know, I, this is on my primary job. Yeah. So I'm a big sailor. I, I must admit, I sail on uh, slightly smaller boats, yeah. way more comfortable. Uh, yeah, with a lot more food and lots more, you know, freeze, frozen, frozen stuff and uh, cold drinks. I, I miss the cold drink. I just I could kill for a soda now, a cold soda. Yeah.